Legend of Total War here, and today we're returning to Disaster Battles, playing as the Legion of Asgore defending Mount Silverspear, which has been set up as a factory, which means it's a minor settlement siege, going up against Thorgrim Grudgebearer here. So, our garrison's pretty good. Uh, he's definitely built up the defenses there, and we've got a small force sitting in here as well, including the uh, the Granite Guard, which is a regiment of renowned Chaos Draw Blunderbuss, and a level 1 uh, Metal Wizard. But Thorgrim Grudgebearer can be very difficult to deal with if he is left to continue to rampage across the garrison. What we really need to do in this situation here, I think, is try to take him out as early as possible. So we need to see where he's going to set up and set up the blunderbusses to snipe him because they're very good at lord sniping, especially with bigger characters. Anyway, let's jump in here and see what we can do. We've also got a summon, the, um, the Kadai Fireborn, which even though they've got a bunch of Iron Drakes, it's not the worst thing in the world to pop it down on them because we... Because these ones here, they've got a lot of uh, fire resistance, and the Kadai units have fire attacks. But they've got really low melee defense, and they're very good against our army here. Because they've got similar range to our blunderbusses, so we can't count on our blunderbusses taking them out. And our melee infantry will just get destroyed by them really quickly, even with their fire resistance. Also, this map here can be... It's not the easiest settlement to defend. The the Chaos Dwarf new settlements, the layouts are really good for defending your settlements. Alright, let's have a look here. Let's have a look. Okay, there's Thorgrim. Alright, let's set up over here. Is that all part of this one here? Yep, okay. Okay, I think I want this one here. Hang on. Another thing we got to check is skirmish mode. Yeah, look at that. They automatically put one of them on skirmish mode. I don't know why the game does that. A year on and that's still in the game. Okay, and then let's put another blunderbuss here. But the third one, I want to take out that gyro bomber because that could be a big nuisance for us. If we don't deal with it. Okay. Hopefully they'll drop its bombs on the Orc Laborers instead of the Hobgoblin Archers. Okay, okay, Dwarf Warriors, put one there, 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 I want to hold on to this position as well. Put some guys defending the back here. Alright, is that everyone assigned? I think so. Alright, guard mode on these. Yep. Put them on. Okay, and this guy, come down over here. And I'll try to use him as a distraction for these guys. Because he's really not that important. He's level 1 lord. And if Thorgrim can just try to, like, assassinate our guy here, then he won't worry, hopefully, too much about getting shot by blunderbusses, which is what I'm counting on. And if we can use the suppressing fire here, we can reduce his speed by 30%, so we can't actually catch us. And because on very hard battle difficulty, these guys here won't shoot at the Lord, but they will shoot at the blunderbusses. But the thing is, they can't shoot us unless they come up to here, which means they'll be within our firing range. And these guys here should be protect uh, protected by the uh, barricade there. Okay, let's see how that goes. Counting on this guy to come over here and get shot. <coughs> okay. Good, we already got a couple of kills in. I definitely like the tier 3 towers. Yeah. Bring him in. That's not really going for us, is it? Oh, should I pop it? No, no, there's slayers there. will just kill us straight away. 
Okay, that's it. Come into my kill zone over here. If we manage to take this out here with minimal casualties, minimal damage, that's going to be the big winner here for us. Okay, they're on fire at will. I'm not going to give them attack orders, just let them shoot at whatever they want. Alright. Okay, he should have been... Su yeah, he's suppressed. Oh, but then he's, he slows down with the smoke bomb. Trying to aim for the gunners there. Okay, I need you to be shooting at Thorgrim. How are we going over here? The... Okay, the gyro bomb has got down. Okay, there's no time to bring you over here. There's also no room. Okay, smoke bomb's over. That's good. Just keep Thorgrim busy. Keep shooting him. And I'll try keeping this busy. That's it. You just keep shooting. Okay, we've got something coming over there. That's great. That's great. Keeping him suppressed like that. Really good. Come on, I need to cast faster. I think this guy here is using his shoddy to uh, to shoot my blunderbusses there. We're going to take out Thorgrim first. That's it. Keep chasing after my lord. Because our lord's nowhere near as valuable as theirs. No, no, come after me. Come after me. That's it. That's it. Keep him busy. How are we going over here? This is all like, this is all like fine. This is Just put some barricades here. Okay, you come in closer. Actually, no, no, keep going for Thorgrim there. We've almost got rid of him. Uh, just charge in there. Yep, that's fine. Both of them charge in. Actually, this would be a good place, I think, for the Kadai Fireball in there. Ah, shoot. Tom Phillipson. At least this one here is keeping him suppressed. Yeah, the Blunderbuss will take him out. Ah, oh, come on, smoke bomb me again. Come on, just live, don't die on me. I still need your magic later. Come on, move. Come on, our speed should be way higher than his. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't break on me. One more shot, one more shot, you got him. Alright, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I think he'll rally. Just got to give him some time. Okay, charge in there. Charge in there. Don't let that one charge it. Uh, shoot at us. Well, it's going to hurt. Yeah, Iron Drakes. They hurt. Okay, get up over here. They're not attacking us from this location now. Yeah, that's a problem there. We just can't charge right in there. We've got to try to... Play Ring Around the Rosie a little bit. Just try to get in there before they... Yeah, that's not going to do much there. There we go, before he had a chance to shoot. That's good. Okay, good. He rallied. Come up over here. Okay, good. We sorted this area out. Okay, get over here, guys. How are you guys going over there? Oh, yeah. I didn't need to babysit the Kadai. They, they did their job. Okay, cool. All right, we need to defend this position up here now. Okay, let's get this set up. Okay, I need these blunderbusses to get into a distance where they can shoot. Giant slayers there. That's okay. We should be able to handle them with the... Uh, uh, with dwarf warriors. Alright, we got incoming over here. Let's try to get the blunderbusses up in on them. Okay, for enough of a... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, back off from there. Oh, these damn gunners. <laughs> I can't get a good angle from there, I think. Because it's got a lot of friendly fire. Squeeze in there. Okay, you go over here and recap a point over this way. Because that guy's got, like, no killing potential left. No, no, get over here. Get over here. 
Come on, fire. Oh, that damn fire. Um, Iron Drake there. I just can't do anything about it. But that hammer is getting smashed. That's good. How much damage is it doing? It's not that much. It doesn't seem to have a very good angle on us. Sorry, Drake here is nearly smashed. Okay, let's bomb it. And that one's obstructed, yep. Good. Good, our laborers over there are winning. Good. Yeah, I can't really use the goblin archers to shoot the iron drakes because they've got flame resistance. Come on, guys, try to squeeze in there. I'm gonna actually come around this way. How are our dudes over here going? Bring them in. Okay. I think we're going okay. We're going okay. Right, let's go. try to come around there a little bit. Uh, pin down that. Goddamn Iron Drake. They just they just did damage to their own units there. They just killed their own troops. To kill a bunch of goblins. That's on them. That's it. Okay, let's drop down another bomb on them. Good, they won. Alright, we got incoming up through this way. Don't worry about them. They're all in melee now. They're not going to do too much to us. The Orc laborers will keep them busy. Alright, bring these guys back over here. I want you to shoot at Grumbling Guard coming in this way. Oh, these guys here got us in melee. Then, run over this way. They can't follow us through the uh, barricade. Okay, they're getting shot. Let's move them back a little bit. Doesn't matter so much if we lose this position. We've still got plenty of others. Alright, how am I going to get these guys to be useful? Need line of sight more than anything. That's it, come on. Get a shot in there. Maybe shoot these guys in the back. Damn, labor is in the way. Go that way. And there's the army losses. We did it. Just the slayers to deal with now. Alright, so I'm probably not going to be able to get any of our units to run any of theirs down. I might be able to get a couple of shots in the castle blunderbusses. But yeah, I think taking out Thorgrim early made a big difference here. Really big difference. And I think that letting him run around for the duration of the battle could have been a huge problem. And the Iron Drakes were definitely a huge concern. The, those that survived, they didn't do that much damage. And we look over here, we should see the, yeah, the Gyro Bomber. That did nothing. Yeah, our guys here are not going to be able to keep up with them. Okay. Great victory. Fair enough. But importantly here is that this guy is a very good engineer. And he's not immortal. And he's dead now. Yeah, that unit's dead as well. All their best units are dead. Except for the Iron Drakes, they survived. But they didn't manage to get much. Oh, this one here did a lot of kills. Alright, oh, that's the one that like shot into the Gobos at the first first charge. Okay, and let's turn them into... What do you need? Your money is a little bit tight. But 110 labor 
Well, 200 labor can be turned into 1,500 gold, but that's 1,600 there. You already got 200. Uh, since money's a little bit tight for you, let's let's give you some more money. Yeah, so my thoughts on, like, the post-battle loot options is that if I was offered 200 laborers or 1,500 gold, I would pick the laborers. But that wasn't the case there. Making sure the rest of this turn goes okay. It doesn't look like it. Oh, under siege. Let me guess, this one's out here going to raid Nagashazar to get laborers. It's a good idea. Oh yeah, and that's another thing. Oh, maybe I should have let Thorgrim live. Oh, no, it's fine. Um, the defeat trait for Thorgrim Grudgebearer is really good for Chaos Dwarves. Really, really good. Uh, Thorgrim's gone there now. And if we... Oh, he, he was recruiting, but... Personally, I would go with the other type of laborer. The um, Orc laborers. Originally, I went with the Goblins, but these guys here, they just got that damage potential. Uh, where these guys here, their leadership... They just got... They're just nothing units. They're just there as cannon fodder, which is fine, but... Good for. If we have a look at that, yeah, our guys won't win that in order resolve, so you could just do whatever you want. You could probably win that manually. And then over here, we can see the Flayed Rock. Is that Drazoath? No. Can you auto resolve that win? No. No, you'll have to fight that oh, manually no. or find some way to support him. But that's definitely not impossible there. Where's Drazoath? There he is. No, that's not Drazoath. Where is he? Oh, he's, he's out here dealing with Grimgore. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, you stretch yourself a little bit thin there, it seems. Oh, well. That's, that situation there is doable, but uh, we'll see how he handles it. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget to send in some disaster battles. And if you sent in disaster battles that I didn't respond to, feel free to just respond to it with a bump so that it goes basically to the top of my inbox again. I uh, appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys. Bye.